hello friends welcome to our youtube channel so in this video we will see about what is recovery and what is the mechanism of recovery okay so uh, recovery is the process of annihilation okay so this is the process of annihilation and rearrangement rearrangement of point defects and a line defect that is like uh, dislocations without migration of high angle green boundary without migration of high angle green boundaries okay so in the last uh, video i have already explained about the uh, what are the changes and what are the uh, effect of recovery on the optical microstructure chemical composition crystal structure so with the three these three aspects like uh, microstructure crystal structure and next one is chemical composition so there is no effect of recovery on these three okay there is no effect of recovery on these three so there is no change actually in these three aspects okay so in this video we will uh, see about the steps in which recovery happens so there are two steps first one is annihilation of excess point defects okay annihilation of excess point defect okay so which happens at lower temperature so that is the first step the second step is rearrangement of line defects that is dislocations without migration of high angle green boundary as i have explained in this definition okay so it happens at high temperature okay so this process happens rearrangement of dislocation at high temperature without changing in the without changing the crystal structure okay so these are the basically two steps in which recovery happens first is uh, annihilation of excess point defect that is uh, vacancy okay and uh, rearrangement of dislocation that is at a higher temperature without changing the crystal structure now we will see the first process about first process so the annihilation of excess point defect ha happens how and this is basically the sinking sinking of vacancies at green boundary sinking of point defects point defect at green boundary or edge dislocation sinking of point defect at green boundary or edge dislocation these might be the point defect such as vacancies or maybe the edge dislocation okay or annihilation annihilation each other okay so the annihilation is basically term for the uh, the dislocations which are positive or negative okay the positive negative dislocation which will annihilate to each other so this will lead to which leads to 
decrease in electrical resistivity electrical resistivity of material as free valence electrons are scattered okay so this process happens in first step of the uh, recovery that is at a lower temperature okay so uh, basically what happens recovery is initially very rapid this process recovery is initially very fast and more so when the handling temperature is high handling temperature is high and with the increasing time and constant temperature being given time at constant temperature recovery gets slow and eventually stops by making a plate tube okay okay so this is all about the recovery process next we will see some more facts that greater initial cold work greater initial cold work that will accelerate the process of recovery that means faster rate of recovery okay and uh, next the next factor which affects the recovery process uh, or we can say which promote the recovery process that is decreasing grain size okay so the decreasing grain size which also promotes or accelerates the faster rate of recovery yeah so with dislocation density decreases with decreasing dislocation density yeah so i told there are two process sorry two steps first is annulation and another is rearrangement so the second rearrangement of dislocation is known as polygonization process so now we will see about the polygonization process so the second step is polygonization okay so it forms the tilt boundary this is the fact in polygonization so at high temperature at high temperature there is a rearrangement rearrangement of dislocation takes place and annihilation of dislocation and annihilation of dislocation of opposite sign okay so because it happens at a higher temperature so this phenomena is assisted by the uh, by thermally process it is actually the th thermal process so like uh, slip and uh, cross slip and climb so these uh, may be the process uh, which are assisted by thermally okay so these are the two process which are basically happens in recovery so there are some more facts about uh, this 
recovery in polygonization uh, second step so the annihilation of dislocation leads to uh, leads to point defect so the sinking of these uh, point defect actually sinking of point defect so which then diffuse at some places like diffuse out to grain boundary okay or surface of a metal okay or makes a prismatic loop prismatic loop so the sinking of point effect happens in these three steps okay the next is during recovery no drastic change in the dislocation density during recovery no drastic change in dislocation density okay and the next is decreasing the migration of vacancy and rearrangement of dislocation increasing the migration of vacancy to grain boundary surface or as a prismatic loop and rearrangement of dislocation rearrangement of dislocation thus reduce the the rate of recovery okay so as the um, most of the point defects has been uh, migrated to the grain boundary surface of prismatic loop the uh, rate of recovery process will be reduced and also the as soon as the rearrangement of dislocation happens that means the polycrystallization process is about to complete so uh, this rate of recovery will also reduce okay and now the rate of polygonization also depends on few factors that is first nature of material okay second amount of coal work third is temperature of recovery process okay fourth is amount and nature of impurity present in material so this amount of uh, nature and impurity present in material actually it reduces rate of polygonization this one okay rate of polygonization so once the rate of polygonization is reduces that means it will reduce the which reduces climb and slip process okay yeah so these are the important steps which happens during recovery and uh, this is the uh, facts which uh, work as a catalyst for increasing the rate of recovery both and uh, during the polymerization what are the factors responsible for rate of polymerization okay so in this video up to here only so thank you so much kindly stay connected and like share subscribe our youtube channel thank you